before anyone freaks out or gets mad at me for clickbaiting, let me just say that this video has little to do with FGO, but at the same time, it does have a lot to do with FGO in a lot of ways, at least for me personally. And if I get emotional <laughs> during this video, I really don't mean to. I know it's going to be cringe if I do. But for those of you guys who are unaware, maybe you're new to the channel or you just don't remember or whatever. About five years ago, back in 2019, a gacha game spinoff of the Madoka series, which if you don't know, uh, Madoka is this really successful magic girl anime that really changed the genre. A spinoff of that anime called Magi Record came out back in NA for uh, 2019 and JP for 2017. Similar to how like Fate Grand Order is a spinoff of the larger Fate series, Magi Record was a spinoff of not as big as Fate, but you know, still pretty successful in its own right, the Madoka series. And as someone who was and still is a big fan of the Madoka series, I was like, you know what? I never really tried another gacha game outside of Fate Grand Order. Uh, maybe I'll give this one a shot. Never got into the JP one. Just went straight into the NA one uh, at 2019 when it first dropped. I was a pre-registered uh, player. I, I played right when the game came out. Long story short, I really enjoyed the game. I loved the story. I loved the characters a lot. If you go back to my old Magia record videos, um, which is like maybe just five of them or something, I talked really highly of the game. Um, I really, really liked it. Again, as somebody who's never ventured off into another mobile gacha game besides Grand Order, it felt like a breath of fresh air. I loved every single component of it. And it was something that me and my girlfriend started together as well. We went to live events for it. And during Anime Expo, um, there was another live event in early 2020 in some kind of macaroon shop near near us. And we went there and we had a really good time. There were hundreds of people lined up. It was really fun just interacting with, you know, fans. And the reason I say this relates to FGO in a way is because prior to Magia Record, I was one of those FGO players that they didn't really read the story. Um, I'm gonna expose myself a little bit, even though I was and still is obviously a Fate fan. Even at the time, like pre 2020, 2019, whatever, the only stories, the only chapters I really, you know, gave a damn about was Babylonia and Camelot. And I know a lot of people watching right now are like, well, you know, that's like most players. But you gotta think about at the time, the Lost Belts were already a thing, and I didn't even care about them. And everyone and their mother <laughs> knows that the Lost Belts are on par with Camelot and Babylonia, if not in some cases better than both of those. And, you know, Camelot and Babylonia are like the benchmarks. But at the time, up until fairly recently, I didn't read any of the chapters besides Camelot and Babylonia because I didn't care uh, enough, I guess. I was lazy. I didn't really have the time. So for me, FGO was just one of those things I logged into rolled maybe read a little bit of cutscenes for like events or maybe here and there but for the most part i mainly relied on like translations online summaries online nothing really i guess official or like within the game itself because again i was lazy i didn't really have the time whatever have you in a way i i didn't really play fgo for the story i didn't really care for the story outside of uh you know my gilgamesh and shu ten and you know those core characters i really got into when i first played FGO. I was very shallow in that regard as a FGO player. And then everyone knows 2020 happened. You know, the pandemic happened, the shutdown. Everyone had to be six feet away from each other, bare minimum, um, wear masks, stay inside. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people, you know, lost their lives as well. And I don't mean to get too deep into this. This is a Magia Record gacha game video in a channel with less than 10,000 subscribers. You know, I don't want to get too deep, but that year, was hard on everyone myself included i've i actually lost a family member as a result of covid my brother got covid as well um, my dad and him got covid at the same time i had to take care of them uh take time and make sure they were okay you know make sure i was okay make sure everyone else in the house was okay it was a very difficult year for everyone and for me a big escape from all that bs was not even FGO, I'm not gonna lie. It, it was Magia Record. Um, the cutscenes were easier to digest. They were, they're a lot shorter. Um, the story is a lot more simple or simpler than FGO, but still very, very good, especially that first overarching, I guess, plot. To, to escape from all the stress and, you know, the BS and just all the negative crap that was going on that year, Magia Record really helped me 
get through at least that first half of the year because if it wasn't obvious i'm not a huge reader i don't know if you guys know this but i have adhd so it's very hard for me to sit down and read a lot of things so you know reading fgo was very it's still very very difficult but again magi record was easy to digest and it really helped me so when it was officially announced that it was going to shut down i, I want to say august of uh, 2020 sometime in the later half of 2020 i was devastated uh, you could watch my previous video a couple years ago when it was initially announced for its end of service again it was it was my main escape not even fgo it, it like magia record was my main escape from uh reality and that's a huge reason when you really sit down and think about it because again it might be cringy for some of you guys hearing this but really sit down and think about this whether it's stress from work, stress from school, stress from maybe a breakup in a relationship, or maybe one of those more hard-hitting uh, stresses, somebody dies, uh, somebody you care about, whether it's family, friend, whatever. And those those stresses from reality, we all, to differing degrees and differing levels, we all seek escape from those things. Just a mental escape, uh, whether that be video games, uh, gacha games, anime, movies comics manga you name it obviously all those things uh we also watch or consume those type of content for entertainment to laugh to pass the time whatever it may be but when you really boil it down it it comes down to trying to escape from reality we don't want to think about those things that are stressing us out at the moment so we want to de-stress and you know play these games or read the manga or whatever it may be so i know I'm, I'm rambling a lot and i'm being very repetitive i'm just you know talking off the cuff but after magia record shut down i didn't have that escape anymore again there was still the rest of 2020 and early 2021 before you know uh, the pandemic was quote unquote over obviously covid's still a thing but it's not nearly as crazy as it was for you know throughout 2020 and early 2021 so without my gear record that really left like a void again without i don't want to sound too cringe or too you know emotional over a fictional story but it did leave a void in my heart i'm not gonna lie i, I didn't have that escape anymore it's not like i could go out with friends or go out with family or anything like that because the pandemic was a thing so a, a big part of my life was just lying down or sitting down in front of a computer screen or in front of my phone and just, you know, reading or watching YouTube or whatever. But ironically, because of what happened to Magi Record in a twist of fate, no pun intended, I decided to finally sit down and, and I was like, you know what? I, I keep calling myself a big Fate Grand Order fan, a big Fate fan, but I, how could I call myself a, a fate fan if i don't sit down and read the story after all that is the most appealing thing about the series that you know really put it on the map and lets it stay on the map to this day is the story and the characters and um the character development their character arcs so when magia record ended and that void was there i finally sat down and read through um, the singularities even though a lot of the earliest stuff are hot trash uh, i finally read the epic of remnants I started off with the lost belts as well read some of the events and while they weren't as easier to digest as Magia Record because again the cutscenes are a lot longer than Magia Record and probably most other gacha games out there I think in a way Magia Record kind of prepared me for that because again I'm not a big reader I don't like reading I have ADHD it's very hard for me to focus reading let alone talking in front of a camera but that one year with this gacha game with Magia Record really helped prime me and prepare me for Grand Order, even though I've been into Grand Order a couple years longer than Magi Record, I never really got into it, into it outside of Babylonia and Camelot and you know, the whole nine yards. And I made this analogy before, and I don't know if this is like, you know, an out there or like a cringy analogy or whatever, but for me, it felt like this. And this is gonna sound bad depending on how you see it, but this is the way my brain works. It's like FGO was like my first child, you know? I raised it, I invested time into it, but I didn't really, you know, invest myself into it. And then my second child came in, in the form of Magia Record. And for whatever reason, I invested a lot more of myself into that second kid. And then out of nowhere, with no warning, that second child gets hit by a pickup truck. And 
as devastated as I am, there's really nothing I can do about it. I mean, I have no control over whether or not Magi record or in the analogy, if my kid is going to survive getting hit by a pickup truck with their guts spilled across the interstate, I just had no control over that. But what I do have control over is that first kid, that, that first passion of mine. I could protect that. I could invest myself more into that one, into FGO. And again, it's a weird analogy. I get it. It's very weird and very exaggeratory because again, at the end of the day, these are fictional gacha games with 2D characters, sometimes 3D characters, depending on what game you're playing. But like I said previously, these are means of escape for me um, to escape the bullshit in my life. And I, I'm sure the same thing could be said to a lot of the things you guys are into as well. Whether it is FGO or another gacha game or uh, maybe an anime or maybe just another video game in general. Even though these things are fictional and in the end of the day don't really matter in the grander schemes of reality, they do help us um, get through the day. They do help us get through the week, get through the months, especially if we're going through a really hard time in our lives. And for me, 2020, one of the hardest years of my life, lost a family member, had to deal with COVID like everyone else. Everyone else had different forms of escape. And Magia Record was that escape for me. And I'm sorry if that's the fifth time I've said that, but I really want to stress that I really hold this series into a high regard because without it, I don't think I would have got into FGO as hard as I as I am right now. I don't think I would have sat down and read Mahoyo, Witch on the Holy Night, because again, I'm not a huge reader, but I, I got trained, I guess. I'm, I'm better prepared, better equipped mentally as a result of reading through uh, Magi Record. So, and I am aware that there is another uh, Madoka gacha game coming out in the horizon in the form of Magia etc or something. I don't plan on getting into it because as much as Magi Record helped me, you know, get into FGO and help me um, break out of my shell in, as far as like, you know, sitting down and actually reading at the same time, it is also traumatizing. I don't really have any plans at all to get into other gacha games. A lot of people always ask me, whether through DMs or through like the chats when I'm live streaming or through the comments or whatever. They always ask me, oh, have you heard of this gacha game? Do you plan on getting into Genshin? Do you plan on getting into Star Rail, Blue Archive? All these big gacha games, all these exponentially successful gacha games much more successful in the grander scheme of things than Magi Record and some might even say more successful than Fate Grand Order as well. It's always a topic that's asked of me and I don't really care for playing other gacha games. I don't really want to. I'm the type of person when I get into something I invest not only a lot of time and sometimes a lot of money into the thing but a lot of myself into it and so when it dies when there's end of service it really affects me and I'm very, very scared of getting into another gacha game and it out of nowhere dying as well. And I know eventually at some point as successful and as profitable and as big as FGO is, especially for the past decade, it's lasted almost 10 years. You guys got to think about that. Almost 10 years and it's still as successful as it is. And not as successful as it used to be. It peaked at some point in like... I don't know, 2018, 2019. I'm not sure what the statistics are, but there's definitely been a slight decline, especially ever since Lazengel took over. But besides the point, eventually FGO is going to end and I'm much more mentally prepared for that. And I am already accepting of that uh, possibility in the future, hopefully in the far future. But I just don't see myself ever picking up as big as they are, like a Genshin, a Star Rail, Blue Archive, whatever. I just don't see myself reinvesting into another gacha game only for it to eventually die at some point whether that be one year like Magi Record NA, seven years like the JP version of Magi Record or 10 plus years I, I just don't really see myself doing that um, just because after one year of Magi Record when that died I was devastated so I, I can't imagine myself getting into X, Y, and Z gacha games and then they die out of nowhere for some reason I just I, I can't do that plus I don't really like the gacha game genre in general the only reason I'm into Grand Order is because I love fate the only reason I got into Magia Record is because I love the Madoka series so I don't see myself getting into these original I guess you could say these these gacha games that don't really rely on a bigger title or a bigger multiverse or whatever 
even if their stories are good if their stories are good and their characters are great then whatever that's fine that's cool i just don't see myself indulging in those things so for those of you guys who are wondering why don't i play other gacha games that there's your answer pretty much i just don't really like gacha games that and i'm traumatized from what happened in magi record and i'm very scared of it happening to other you know uh series or other mobile games or whatever so i'm sorry if this entire video was a huge waste of your time if you feel like you just sat there cringing for like five or ten minutes i'm not sure how long this video is but i just wanted to give my respect to uh my gear record in the end of the day because it's officially ending uh, the na version ended back in 2020 and now the jp version has finally met its end of service as well so i just wanted to Give my respects i feel like i'm saying goodbye to a friend or a family member for the second time like it's like my second time attending their funeral or something hopefully the fgo end of service is far away from now because this definitely hit i i saw this announcement on twitter and i was like what the jp version i i know uh, magi record as a whole was never as profitable as grand order and could never reach the heights of grand order or other gacha games but to actually see it end it, it's kind of crazy so thank you to magi record for opening up my eyes in both a literal and a metaphorical sense making me a better fate fan making me a better fan in general so now when i consume content whether that be anime video games or whatever i am much more proactive in getting into the story and getting invested in the characters because previously i wasn't really i guess like the video if you like it i, I don't know i i doubt many people will watch or like this video um comment down below let me know what you think about all the variety of topics i talked about uh whether that be magia record ending which is a big part of this maybe that you guys could share stories of other gacha games that reach end of service because definitely magia record isn't the first there's a ton of games that have uh, had their service terminated it's nothing new it's nothing crazy but for me as somebody who doesn't really play other gacha games it it, it feels new to me you know it's it's my i'm a first timer in a lot of ways so this definitely hits a lot harder for me but in a weird way just like it did before it is preparing me for the day when fgo eventually ends as well so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one whenever that'll be i hope it's not as cringy or depressing as this one so I'll see you guys in that one. Bye-bye.